We've finished building all of Patricia's workflows and she's almost ready to roll them out to her team. Let's consider how to best go about it in the last phase, adoption. Adoption starts with onboarding your team onto the platform. It's a very exciting time and you will probably want to schedule the first meeting as soon as you're done building. However, there are things to consider before beginning your rollout. In this video, we'll share some of our pro tips for success. Define your rollout strategy. Think about who you will roll out to, on what timelines, and the method of training. We recommend a first rollout your workflows to a focus group, collect feedback, implement changes, and only then do a full rollout to the rest of the team. Get your account ready for the end users. Make sure to clean up your boards and workspaces. Add board descriptions, double check your permissions, and create your team structure. Plan the rollout itself. You can plan your team rollout in a dedicated board. We've included a template of this board for you to download in the additional resources attached to this video. As you'll see in the board, one of the first things to do is to announce Monday.com to your team. Then, you can create a training agenda. We also recommend creating a learning center, either in another board with all of the resources inside, or even better, using a Monday work doc with embedded videos and additional training resources. Once you get to the live training, pull up your Monday.com account and give your team a walkthrough of your boards live. Monitor adoption. After the training has been delivered, you'll want to keep an eye on your team's adoption in the first months of your rollout. Monitoring adoption can be done through the usage stats in the admin section of your account. Letting the team provide feedback can help to boost adoption. You can create a board with a form view to collect their comments and then update your processes based on the feedback you receive. Before we finish, here's some additional tips to increase your team's adoption. One, move all communication to monday.com. Two, set a hard deadline for the elimination of old processes and tools. Three, Get your executives buy-in so they can support you in showing Monday.com's value to your team. And that concludes the final stage of our methodology. Let's wrap up by reviewing everything we have learned. We started by defining the business needs and the type of workflows to be built. We learned how to visualize a process, dived into Monday.com building blocks and best practices for structuring boards. Then we went ahead and built boards optimized them with advanced features like automations, views, and dashboards. We expanded to additional use cases, learned about essential controls like permissions and organizational features to keep things tidy. Finally, we looked at some tips for how to successfully roll Monday.com out to your organization and how to increase and monitor team adoption. Phew, it's been quite a journey. Thanks for joining me throughout. It's been a lot of fun. It has and we think you're finally ready to do this on your own. Good luck, and thank you for choosing Monday.com.